Have you ever wondered why so many people are able to build amazingly profitable businesses, but some people, even if they have their business going, they're just struggling over and over to try to even make any real money in their business. In this training today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the four pillars that anyone can take in order to build a massively profitable business. And I'm telling you this right now, number four is the most mind-blowing, most important of the pillars, so you don't want to miss it. Guys, it's Rick Pino here from Get Wisdom. Make sure to subscribe to the channel right now if you wanna to continue to see more content like this from me. Let's get into the training. All right, guys, in today's training, we're going to be talking about the four pillars of a profitable business. In fact, I need y'all to drop the number four in the comments right now. How many of you guys and gals know there's really four steps that anyone can take in their digital product business that will allow you from going from where you are now to where you desire to be? And I'm telling you this, if you just start taking immediate action on these four steps, okay, your sales are gonna go from maybe dwindling or maybe like, I'm not making any sales. You can literally take your sales skyrocketed to the next level like Elon, where's my rocket ship with these four steps, okay? And the reason why you need to really grasp these four steps is because when it comes to serving your people, in fact, how about this? I need at least 10 people in the comments right now, drop these words. Serve your people, serve your people, okay? Selling is good because selling is serving. I think where a lot of people miss it, guys, in their business is they think that, especially newbie entrepreneurs or people who don't really grasp the concept of business or money yet, they're, maybe they're still learning or maybe they're just still like, you know, delusional about like, oh, this business thing, this money thing, this on, especially online, you know, opportunities, it's all weird. I'll tell you this, I think where most people miss it is most people, they have the false limiting belief that business and sales is all about, let's go grab as much cash as humanly possible, right? And yes, uh, you know, making money, especially making as much money as possible, that is part of business. But more than making the money, you should be focused, you should point your intent on serving your people at the highest level possible. Because I've said it before, I'll say it again, you've probably heard me say it before, you always hear me saying this, if you can obsess over solving problems for your market more than the market obsesses over the problem itself, you will never go broke in your life ever again. Like that is the honest truth. If you can understand that business is all about serving people, solving problems for people, and fulfilling uh, you know, at the highest level possible for your people, you will literally never have to worry about money ever again. Okay, so with that being said, okay, we need to understand that business, especially your digital product business, um, it's not about like, let's go grab some money, right? Uh, I talk about don't lead with asking, lead with giving, right? Hey, do you wanna buy my course? No, no one wants to buy your course, Bob, right? But everybody would like to receive some value and if you can just over deliver value, you'll have no problem making sales. So guys, in the training today, let's talk about these four pillars of a profitable business, okay? If you're ready for number one, drop some ones in the comments and let's get to it, okay? This, oops, there we go. Four pillars of a profitable business. Notice I didn't just say four pillars of a business. I said four pillars of a profitable business. Does anybody here want a profitable business? I don't know about, are you just trying to run a business for the sake of running a business or are you trying to make some profits? Well, guess what? If you can serve your people at the highest level, you have no problem making profits, okay? So number one, the first pillar of a profitable business, okay, make sure to write this down. Number one is this. You want to make sure to enroll the people. What does this mean, okay? see. The biggest mistake that especially newbie entrepreneurs can make is like, hey everybody, come buy my stuff. No one cares, Susan. 
Like I'm, I'm, I got names for y'all today. And by the way, if your name is Bob or Susan or whatever, if I call your name out, it's, it's all love. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just saying like, when you are leading with asking, like buy my thing, buy my thing, no one cares. So the first thing you've got to do if you want to run and operate a profitable business is you have to learn how to enroll your people, okay? And when it comes to enrolling the people, what does this actually mean? Well, here's a question for you, and you need to ask yourself this question as you're building your business, okay? And if you're taking notes, write this down. But here's a question that you need to ask yourself when it comes to how do I enroll the people, okay? The question is this. What kind of energy do you want to create between you and that potential prospect? What kind of energy do you want to create? No, I'm not talking about weird new age-ism. I'm not talking about that. But I am talking about how many of y'all know that God has set up creation with their energy is just part of life. Like the sun puts out energy. If you have a good night's sleep, you'll wake up with more energy. If you have a bad night's sleep, you'll wake up with less energy. Like energy is real, okay? Not in the new age sense what I'm about to say, but listen, I believe and you need to understand that high income is a direct, it's, it's directly connected to high energy, okay? High income is directly connected to high energy. So when it comes to enrolling your people in your profitable business, the first pillar of having a profitable business, you need to enroll the people. And the way you're going to do this is you need to set up some kind of really wonderful energy pathway, highway, whatever you want to call it. Again, not new age, but what kind of vibe do they feel when they interact with you? Right, like have you ever been scrolling on social? And I remember uh, there's this guy who's like a psychologist. He pops up in my feed sometimes on social. And I just, I don't know why he's on my feed and I'm not looking for psychology stuff, but he'll pop up sometimes. Bruh, like the, the lighting's all dark and he's like all up in the camera like this and he's like all quiet. He's like, have you ever wondered? And it's just like creeped, at least for me. Like it's creeped out. And so like the, the energy, the vibe that the guy's giving off, at least to me, is a little bit on the creepy side. Like picture like, you know, uh, maybe a weird kind of like uh, Ronald McDonald meets like, um, I don't know why I went that route, but like psychologist, dark vibe, soft voice, ASMR meets Ronald McDonald. It's just a little weird, right? Like when you are putting out the different pathways for people to be able to engage with your business, there are different kinds of, of vibes and feelings that you want your people to have. Number one, okay, you want to make sure that the energy that you're giving out, it's a, it's a participation energy, right? You want people to feel like they can participate, right? You want those, those feelings that people experience when they listen to your content, when they watch your videos, when they read your posts, when they read your tweet, when they listen to your voice, you want them to feel like they can participate with you, like they can engage with you. You've got to keep it authentic, man, right? You have to be authentic about this. Don't try to be cool or like put yourself out there like, I am a guru. Like just, just keep it 100, keep it real because when you're real, People feel like, wow, this guy is a real guy. This gal is a real gal. In fact, I was talking to somebody on my uh, on my sales team yesterday, and we were doing like just a check in. And I said, "How's it going? You know, how's everything going?" She goes, "You know, people just love your authenticity, Rick. They love that you know you're not trying to be this super polished dude. You're just yourself. They feel like you're a real person." And then she went on to say, "They feel like they can actually like engage." with your authenticity. That's the kind of, you know, vibe and energy and feeling you want to make sure that you're putting out there because if not, you're not going to be able to enroll your people, okay? So number one, you wanna make sure that there's a participate, like they feel like they can participate. Number two, this one should be obvious. You wanna make sure that they feel like you are a safe place. Whatever your niche is, right? Whatever your thing is, whoever you've been called to serve or whoever you're choosing to serve right now, you wanna make sure that when they connect with you, the way that they're going to be able to enroll into your ideas, enroll into your philosophies, enroll into your style, is you want it to be like a safe place, right? 
you don't want people to feel like idiots. Like if they ask a question that you're like, that's a dumb question. And you at, you answer with like an attitude, like that's, that's not even kind, right? Like you don't want to do that. So you want there to be the, the, the participation energy. You want there to be a safe energy. And here's a cool one. You want there to be a fun energy. Like I cannot tell you guys and gals enough how powerful child likeness is in your business, okay? Like I'm telling you, like it is so powerful, not childishness, but child likeness to just not be afraid to have some fun, right? To like, to not be afraid to like be a real person, to have some fun. And that leads me to the next part. If you wanna learn how to enroll your people, you should try to create a celebration type of environment, a celebration type of feeling. One of the reasons why I love to celebrate my students is because I want you to feel celebrated. Do you notice what I'm saying here? I want them to feel this, I want them to feel this, I want them to feel a certain way, why? If you're taking notes, write this down. The only reason why anyone anywhere buys anything is because they feel like it, okay? like. And you might be like, well, I go to the grocery store because I need groceries. Okay, but the reason why you go is because you feel like going, right? You feel like, okay, I need to go and I feel like buying, you know, whatever, the, the cleaner, the milk, the eggs, whatever it is. So how do you enroll people into your philosophy, into your style, into your content? How do you enroll them? Because guys, if they're not enrolled, if they're not connected in, if you don't provide these kind of vibe or energy highways for them to connect in you, man, I love his authentic authenticity. I love her authenticity. If you are not providing some way for them to enroll with you, their feelings are not gonna get attached. They're not gonna feel those warm fuzzy, fuzzies. They're not gonna feel attached and they're not gonna enroll and then you've missed it. Okay, so if you don't have people enrolling into your content, enrolling into your ideas, enrolling into your style, then they are not eventually gonna land up being clients. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're enrolling these people by creating these kind of feelings in your content as you are reaching out, as you are showing people and sharing with people how you can serve them, okay? I need at least 10 people in the comments, drop these words, serve your people, okay? One of the ways that you are going to have a profitable business, you're going to serve your people by, in, by, by creating ways for them to enroll with you, okay? If you're ready for number two, drop a two in the comments. Number two, is this little, aha, uh -huh, I did it, okay. Rome set up a new little system for me here and I'm, I'm learning it. Look at me, I'm special. Number two, okay? If you're ready for pillar number two. <laughs> oh, y'all caught me in the mood today. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the training. I wanted to take a few moments real quick to invite you to join me for my upcoming Create and Sell Digital Products five-day challenge, okay? This is a five-day live virtual event where I invite entrepreneurs or would-be entrepreneurs just like you to come spend five days with me and get live training on the five moves that anyone can take in order to scale and skyrocket their business and their revenue. Now, the best way to join is as a VIP because VIPs get to spend an extra hour with me every single day and ask your questions live. My most successful students have all been VIPs. That's the best way to join. Listen, you don't wanna miss the upcoming Create and Sell Digital Products five-day challenge. It's completely live. It's coming up right around the corner. Click the link down below in the description. Grab your ticket today. Now back to the training. Pillar number two, okay? Second pillar to have a profitable business is you wanna make sure that you are educating the people, okay? So number one, you wanna enroll them. Number two, you want to educate the people. Here's one of the biggest things that I have learned over the past decade plus of business. Uh, a lot of you guys and gals may or may not be aware of this, but outside of the mission stuff and the worship stuff, 
Um, my wife and I, we've built a number of pretty successful companies in real estate, in e-commerce, in publishing, in consulting. I've had marketing agencies. I was building a bunch of businesses outside of online marketing or consulting long before any of y'all even knew that I was doing business, right? And in, in the in the experience of building all of those businesses and now doing consulting and, and online marketing, one thing that I have found over and over and over again, no matter what niche you're in, no matter who you're serving, no matter what industry that you are in, I have found that you must educate your people. One of the biggest mistakes that new entrepreneurs make is they assume that the person you're talking to understands everything that you understand. Like, I'm telling you this right now. The things that just, you're like, well, this is duh. It might be a duh thing for you, but I'm telling you this. It is not a duh thing for your people. It's really not. When you're just like, oh, like, let's say your your thing is you, um, gosh, you are a sourdough bread Lord, and you have the sourdough bread extravaganza business, and your niche is you help people. <laughs> you help people learn how to create all the cool different kinds of sourdough breads. I will tell you this, if I was interested in, in doing sourdough bread, I only know a little bit about this because my wife is like a sourdough bread lordess, okay? But if I were interested and I wanted to learn how to do the thing, I wouldn't know where the heck to start. Like, do you, is it flour? Like, all I know is you have to like let this thing rise and it's like, you have to let it grow. I don't know how the heck to do that. And you might've been making sourdough bread for like 20 years, like, duh, just do this. Like, well, I don't even have to tell you about that. No, you must educate your people. Like, if you see me posting on social, okay? You'll see me make a post and almost every single post, not every single one, but almost every post, if I am talking about digital marketing or digital products, guess what I'm gonna say somewhere towards the end? What are digital products? Digital products are educational resources like eBooks, courses, mentorships, where you can take the knowledge, the experience, the passion, the expertise that you already have, you can create one of these educational resources where you do the work one time and whenever you put it out there, it has a potential to pay you over and over and over again. Why do I say that in most of my social posts? Because I need to educate the people. Like don't assume, I'm gonna say it again, don't assume that your people know everything that you know just because it comes easy to you. Like you need to be able to educate your people and here are three powerful ways, three powerful ways how you can educate your people. Okay, number one, you can use pictures, okay? I love to use pictures. In fact, um, check out a book. There's a, a book that I forget, the, uh, I forget the author's name, but the book is called Draw to Win. You guys wanna hear a crazy story? Wave at me like this if you guys wanna hear a crazy story. Drop some fire emojis in the comments if you guys wanna hear a crazy story. And this story has actually led to making me millions of dollars because of this silly little picture thing that I learned, okay? So there is a book called Draw to Win and the story goes like this. There was a guy who was a, a broker on Wall Street, okay? And his whole thing was he was trying to sell these accounts. Am I doing this right? There we go. His whole thing, he was trying to sell these accounts, okay? And, um, and he couldn't make the sale. He couldn't close the deals. And no matter how hard he tried, he would meet with these clients. Nobody was closing. Nobody was buying from him. And he was like, my gosh, man, how come I can't make these sales? Well, he's on another lunch, you know, sales lunch. And he's like talking to this guy. And the guy's like, I just, I just don't get what you're trying to tell me, bro. Like, I'm, I, I appreciate you. I just don't understand. And so the guy, the, other, the, the guy trying to make the sale, he goes, uh, here, man, how about this? He grabs a napkin, okay, and he grabs a, a pen, and on the napkin, he scribbles out this little, like, drawing, and he's like, uh, here, does that make sense? And the guy on the other side of the table, he goes, oh my gosh, that makes a ton of sense. Let's do it. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah I'm sure you wouldn't be interested. Wait, did you just say, let's do it? And he's like, yeah, let's do it, bro. Like, I, I get it now. 
And he was like, okay. And he closed the deal. And so he leaves this, he leaves this, this lunch just kind of scratching his head like, what the heck? I was never able to close any deals and all of a sudden I just closed this guy? So he got smart and he goes, okay, on the next meeting, I'm bringing people to this. Maybe it's the restaurant. Maybe it was the ambiance. Maybe it was like, I don't know. Like he was just trying to figure it out. So the next client comes, you know, on the next business lunch and he brings him to the lunch and he goes, uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, what do you think? And the guy's like, uh, I, I just, it sounds cool. I just don't really get it, man. I, I think I'm gonna have, need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some time to think about it. <clears throat> and he goes, uh, okay. Uh, how about this? He goes, let me see your napkin. And the guy's like, okay. And he hands him the napkin. And then the guy, he does the same thing. He scribbles a little picture on the napkin and he goes, what about this? Does this make any sense? And the guy on the other side of the table goes, yes. I, I totally get it, bro. The, I totally, let's do it. And then he closes another deal. Long story short, what this guy discovered is when you draw pictures. It doesn't have to be a drawing, okay? I like to draw. One of the reasons why I, I use my trusty board here, uh, which looks like the lighting is all wigged out. I don't know why, but one of the reasons why I like to draw is because when you draw or when you use pictures, you bypass the, the professional logical part of a person's mind, okay? And you start touching on that child likeness. Remember what I said earlier? Child likeness is extremely powerful in, in the, uh, in the in engaging part, sorry, in the enrolling part. It's also incredibly powerful in the engaging part because when you can bypass that professional, you know, oh, and you start touching the child likeness in them like, huh, this is cool. The walls come down and the sales become easier. So number one, make sure to use pictures to educate your people. Number two, you want to learn how to use parables, okay? Parables are stories. Have you ever heard of a dude, he's a really great friend of mine, his name is Jesus. And Jesus is the king of using parables or telling stories to educate the people, right? What I love about storytelling I just told you guys a story to paint a picture so that I can educate you guys. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, stories are incredibly powerful when it comes to educating your people so that they can really start to grasp the concept that you are trying to impart to them, okay? So make sure that you have some good stories. Like, you've lived enough life that you have at least a few stories. You could tell some stories to make some points so that way people can understand what you're trying to say even better. Okay. In fact, there was a study that came out and this is so interesting. Okay. When a person is telling a story to try to make a point, they literally hooked up like audiences to these brainwave machines, right? Just to monitor brainwaves, just to see how come people like stories so much and something fascinating happened. When a person is listening to a story, their brain waves begin to come into sync exactly with the person telling the story. Isn't that insane? It's like mind blowing to me. So when you hear a story, it literally helps the person listening start to think and start to believe like the person telling the story, okay? So if you wanna educate your people, number one, use pictures, number two, use parables, and then number three, you want to use principles, okay? Now, principle is a lesson around the concept. Now, the cool part is you can combine all three of these. You can use pictures, parables, and principles. And when you combine all three of these, that's how you can really educate your people in a powerful way. Why is education so important when it comes to building out your profitable business? Because if your people are not aware, right? Like, one of the biggest mistakes is that people assume that your potential clients, your potential customers already know about their problem, right? So a lot of times there's, there's people who like, they don't even know that they have the problem, 
number one. So it's gonna be really hard to make a sale or to serve that person if they don't even know that they have the problem, number one. And number two, if they're already problem aware, okay, you need to educate them on the solution. Hey, are you tired of struggling with X, Y, Z? Are you a, a burnt out pastor who has given your life to the ministry and maybe now you're at the point of your life where you're looking for something new, you feel God calling you to something else and you just don't know how to get there. See what I'm saying? Like this, that scenario, that person would be like, oh my gosh, that's me. You're literally calling out, they, they have awareness of the problem, but they don't know what the solution is. So education is extremely powerful when it comes to telling people, hey, have you ever felt like this? Or like, oh my gosh, I did. You're making them problem aware. And then also education is powerful because you want to make them solution aware, okay? Are y'all getting this? Let me know in the comments if you guys are getting this, okay? Drop some fire emojis in the comments if y'all are getting some value. Let's go to pillar number three. I need at least 10 people in the comments. Drop a three right now if you wanna know the third pillar of building a profitable business. I'm gonna move this over here. Okay, so pillar number one, you gotta enroll the people, right? You gotta make sure that they're feeling participative, safe, fun, celebrated, right? Number two, you gotta educate the people with pictures, parables, and principles. Number three, okay, third pillar, you need to engage the people. Engage the people, okay? Number three, you want to engage the people. Now that you have enrolled them, now that you are educating them, you want to engage with them, right? You want them to not just be like, well, that's cool, that was cool knowledge. Too many people are addicted to education but allergic to execution, right? So what we want to do is we want to help engage, enroll our people, educate them, and then engage them to continue to move forward with you. Right, so one of the best ways to engage the people, if you're taking notes, write this down. One of the best ways to engage your people is in the process of educating your people, you want to make sure that you are creating a learning environment and not just a teaching environment. I'm trying to give you all some secret sauce. Somebody in the comments say secret sauce. This is some secret sauce stuff here, okay? You wanna make sure as you are educating your people, one of the best ways to engage them into the education is to cultivate a learning environment and not just a teaching environment. What does that mean? You don't want to just be a talking head all the time, spitting out facts, because now you're, remember, remember pillar number one? This whole idea about like participation if all you ever do is just talk, 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 educate, 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 but you don't do things like ask questions, if you don't do things like call for engagement, like I need at least 10 people in the comments right now to drop some fire emojis. I need at least three people. If you wanna know pillar number three, drop a three. Why am I doing this? because I want to engage you forward. I want to help move the ball forward with you as you're learning, I want, to, uh, I want you to understand. Okay, cool, and I want you to move forward with me. Okay, not that I'm trying to sell you anything here, I'm not. I'm trying to teach you how to build a profitable business. While you are doing this, while you are serving your people, don't just enroll them, don't just educate them, but you have to engage them one more time by cultivating a learning environment, not just a teaching environment, okay? Again, the master of this is Jesus, right? Jesus wasn't just sitting out, just dropping parables and then moving on. Jesus, like people would come and ask him a question and guess what Jesus would do? He would answer their question with a question. Why is he doing this? Well, one of the reasons why is because he wants to get them engaged. He wants them to feel safe. He wants it to be fun. He wants them to participate, right? While he is educating with pictures and parables and principles, he's enrolling the people with participation, right? They feel safe. 
They feel the authenticity. They feel celebrated. He's asking them questions, right? And while they're doing this, the way he's engaging the people is he is cultivating learning and not just teaching. Okay, it's not just enough to educate. You have to make sure that the people are engaged. Are y'all getting this? If you're getting it, let me know in the comments. Say, I'm getting it. Guys, I'm telling you, these are like, these are real ninja hacks on how to really have a profitable business. Okay, and pillar number four, if you're ready for pillar number four, drop a four in the comments because I want to get you guys engaged, right? Let's see who's engaged. Drop a four, drop a four, drop a four. Fire emojis, fire emojis, <laughs> right? Guys, I'm telling you, when it comes to building your business, you want to have good, fun, celebrative, authentic, move forward energy, right? And number four is really, really important. Number four, here it is, guys. This is what it's all about right here. You want to empower the people. Now, here's the thing. All three of these past pillars that I just broke down for you, the purpose, if you're taking notes, write this down. The purpose of the first three pillars is to lead people to the place of empowerment. Why do we want to enroll the people? Why do we want to educate the people? Why do we want to engage the people? Why do we want to do this? Because the whole purpose, like I said at the very beginning of the training, is to serve your people. And one of the best ways that we can do this is to enroll them, educate them, and engage them so that your people can become empowered. You want your people to become empowered, man, because when you empower your people, you lead them to the place where they can make a smart choice for themselves. This, I'm gonna go back to the beginning here. Remember we talked about business and sales. It's not about money grab. It's about serving people. Well, guess what? The reason why people don't, they, they, the reason why people really struggle in making sales is because they are not empowering the person. They're just asking for, hey, buy my thing, buy my thing. But when you empower the person with enrollment, when you empower the person with education, when you empower the person with engagement, right? When you empower the person and you, you're helping them you're bringing them to the place of saying, wow, I am ready to make a decision and my decision is going to be, I want to move forward and engage with you because you've brought me so much value. And guys, when you can learn how to empower your people, you will have no problem making money in your business, okay? And I'm gonna give you one more three-step formula on how to, I believe it's the best way to empower your people Okay, the best way to empower your people is with the framework that I teach you guys. And that framework is hook, story, offer. Okay, hook, story, offer. What does that mean? As you're enrolling, as you're educating, as you're engaging the people, you want to empower your people with this framework. You want to always, whatever piece of content you're putting out there, whether it's a reel, whether it's a video, whether it's some kind of tweet, whether it's a blog, whether it's a post, um, an audio training, a podcast, whatever it is, you want to make sure that your empowerment, your empowerment communication to your people has some kind of hook, some kind of story or contextualized explanation, and then some kind of offer or call to action, okay? What's a hook? Well, there's a few different kinds of hooks. If you're taking notes, write this down. Hook number one, there is a verbal hook. A verbal hook would be something like, here are three mistakes every new entrepreneur always makes and here's everything you need to know on how to, make, how to not make them. I'm just making that up, right? That's a visual, or sorry, that's a verbal hook, number one. Number two, there are visual hooks, okay? Um, you might see me posting on social sometimes and I'll be holding money and I'll clip my mic on the front there and I'll be like, hey guys, here are three tips on blah, blah, blah. Why am I doing this? Because this money right here is a visual hook, right? I want to hook people. 
as they're coming into my ecosystem and I'm enrolling them, engaging them and, and educating them, I wanna empower them by hooking them even more into my content, right? So uh, verbal hooks, audio, sorry, verbal hooks. Uh, uh, what was I just talking about? Visual. visual, thank you. Verbal hooks, visual hooks, and then you want to have audio hooks. If you've made it this far into the training and you're enjoying it and you still haven't checked out my upcoming five-day live virtual challenge, create and sell digital products, what is you doing? Check out this testimony right here of one of my current students. He took the information that I'm gonna be sharing with you in the upcoming five-day training to make $15,000 in one single week. Click the link down below, join as a VIP. We'll see you in the challenge. Now, back to the training. Um, somebody who did a really cool job with this a number of years back is a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk. And uh, he's an online business dude. Um, and he would have, he called it um, audio branding. Like for instance, have you ever seen like a Coca-Cola commercial? And they don't even have to say anything. You just hear and you, you hear the sound of it like pouring into the glass and the, the cracking open. That's an audio hook. Or what about when you turn on your MacBook and it makes that boom, 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 like I don't even know what the sound is, but it turns, the sound turns on. That's an, that's an audio hook. It's, it's something that hooks you to the brand or something that hooks you to the content, right? So you can have one of these three hooks or the best thing to do is to have all three of them. Then the next part to empower your people is to tell stories. Like I just mentioned in the education part, you want to tell stories or give context to the people so that they can actually begin to understand what it is that you're trying to communicate. So you might do something like, again, I'm just making all this up. Um, here's the biggest mistake that every new entrepreneur makes and here's how you can avoid making it. That would be the hook, okay, the story. When I was three years old, I'd blah, blah, like I'd go straight into the story, okay? Or I might go into straight up into the context of saying like, you know, here's the biggest mistake, blah, blah, blah. Have you ever wondered why people blah, blah, and I just begin to explain, I'm giving the context, I'm giving the story, that's the meat and potatoes, okay? And then the offer at the end, or the call to action at the end, you might see me say, here's the number one mistake that every entrepreneur, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you blah, 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 and then at the end, I'll say, like and follow me for more business tips like this. Or I'll say, if you want more information on what are digital products and how they can work for you, comment the word, whatever, I'm ready down below and I'll send you information for blah, blah. Why do I do that? Because I'm literally using this framework to enroll, educate, engage, and empower my people. And I'm telling y'all this, if y'all are in this training, it's because it's working, right? It's working. If it works for me, it can work for you. Guys, I'm telling you this right now. If you can adopt and take massive action on these four pillars, it is going to help dramatically skyrocket your sales in your business to where you're not just running a business, you're running a profitable business, okay? And what these four pillars really help you do is to serve your people at the highest level possible.